front where it says Ames real big. Well, hello everybody from Warren, Ohio, the beautiful, wonderful city, said no one ever. Um, no, Warren's okay. I don't think anybody's ever said that either. No, there are parts of town I like, but anyway, I'm here in downtown Warren, and I'm at another Burger King. This one closed, I think if I remember right, within the last six months. I, I'm not 100% certain. But anyway, this is another Tom's King location. It's another one of those franchisees that filed for bankruptcy, closed a whole bunch of locations, and this is one of the few of them in the Warren area. And, well, let's go take a look at it and see how it looks. Ah, uh, yes, another signless sign, pizza pan style. I see all the lights are on inside, too, and what's up with that? Digging the solarium over here as well. Got a lockbox. Looks like a UPS. No, it's store closed. You know, you don't say. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking location. I like it with the... Uh, I definitely like it with the, the solarium going on. Sorry, I backed up for a moment to take a thumbnail. Really like this. This looks cool. But anyway can't see anything when you're 20 feet away from the building so old logo on the door hard to believe that's now the old logo and they reverted back to the one that they used to use yep here are the other ones and actually that one's closed as well it just closed within the last couple of weeks and i'm going to do a video there next <laughs> and uh one of these other ones are gone too anyway take a peek inside it looks like it could be open for business every single light is on and we see through here yeah that's nuts who's paying that electric bill menu screens and everything are gone but everything's still lit up Oh, there's a lot of cars in this parking lot. There's another look inside. Get a better view without the pole blocking the view of the dining room back there. Looks like all they have to do is just put some signage up and they can open right up. Now this is an interesting drive through too. Oh, I love that close. Yeah, good job. The drive through came through here. You had your parking lot here on the side. This window here is where you'd pick up your food. There's a look inside the kitchen there. This building's different too. It's built weird. Like this is kind of like on a caddy corner to the actual building. It looks like it was an addition to this to put the second window in where you would pay. Well, when you're coming through the drive-thru, this would be the first window, but that's kind of bizarre, honestly. What can you see in here? Anything? Just the light from outside. You're like in your own like little world here. It's like the timeout corner. <laughs> yeah. It's like the little timeout corner. Sorry, I know it's hard to see. My hand doesn't make it any better. Yeah, and then it connects into the rest of the restaurant. And you come through here, and there's your order screen up here. It's weird how it kind of slinkies around the entire drive through and there's actually cars parked in the drive through <laughs> I guess they use this for park and ride. There's where you would have placed your order. Even those lights are on. The only lights that aren't on are on the screen here in the nugget sign. All right. Where they would put ads and specials in that display. Digging the music notes, like with the treble clef and quarter notes and stuff. I wonder what song that's supposed to play out. 
Anyway, interesting looking location, that's for sure. With this on the end. We'll walk around back, head back towards the other side. Yeah, it's weird how they have that like added on. Clearly not original. I guess this was their cooler back here. Um, okay, I was kind of worried, like, what if somebody's back here? It's just a bunch of cardboard. And whatever that window is there, that's weird. Here's this little entrance here. Oh, it's the fire exit because there's the alarm on it. Fire exit only. That is weird. Look at that dining room. All the seats are there, but every single table is gone. Why? <laughs> why Why just take the tables? Why not take the seats, too? I guess because they're cemented into the floor? I... I don't know. So if somebody wants to move into this building and use it, they have to get all new tables. All right. Like this little door. I guess that's where the dumpsters would be. We're in here. This like little walk area through here. Yeah, here's the restrooms here. Looks like they had a hookup for a TV. That's cool. Not every Burger King has a TV in it that you could just sit back and watch. It's a luxury for the ones that do. Yeah, it's so weird about all the tables being gone. They have a little ketchup dispenser over there, but that's it. Way over there on the left side, a little ketchup pump. <laughs> okay, let's take a look through this window here. Maybe we can zoom in on it. Yeah, now we have a straight shot at it. All right, a boy. Weird they didn't take that. Yeah, every table is gone. Love the solariums though, these are cool. Love that it's on both sides. I'm guessing they didn't have any seating arrangements on the other side since it was near the front counter. But it's cool that they do here. take one more look through this window over here then we're gonna wrap it up so I can head to the next one yeah that's wild every single light is on except for a couple over the booths I wonder if they're on just round the clock I assume they are knowing this area wouldn't surprise me for security oh look at that the light pole fell down too Wonder how that happened. Did it just fall down from like a storm or did somebody just hoot and toot and went bam right into that thing? Either way, they really hit it with the hind. But anyway, I think that'll be a wrap for this BK. No onion rings, no whoppers, nothing. Oh well, on to the next one. Hi right, everyone, well that's gonna wrap that video up. Hope you enjoyed. From the beautiful city of Warren. <laughs> It's not so bad out here, except for one person, but that person's irrelevant. But, and they've been obsessed with me for four or five years to constantly make accounts on YouTube to just purposely harass me and other people. Why, I have no idea. Can't imagine wasting four years of my life to do that kind of stuff, but they do it. And for me, it's as simple as two clicks. Click on the three dots next to the dumb comment they leave, and then hide user and remove comment. Boom. Done. Out of sight, out of mind. So anyway, wasted effort on your part. But anyway, so that was fun checking that BK out. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to head over to the other one and check that out. We have a couple of other videos to do right there as well. So with that said, I'm taking off. Take care and stay awesome. See you at another BK around the corner. Bye everyone.